She's been working this land for more than 30 years. Adlat Hasanova has had a hard life in Tajikistan, and with the fall of the Soviet Union in 1991, it got much worse. Many of the men left for better paying work in Russia, leaving hundreds of thousands of women to struggle on vast farm cooperatives. We did not have money to buy food. I did not get any salary, and I worked 12 hours a day with only a 15-minute break. It was very difficult. She survived by selling the eggs from a few chickens and the milk from her cow. Finally, in 2007, Adelat had had enough. She decided to take control of her life and start her own farm. Here, the government owns the land, but citizens can get the rights to use it. When I wanted to establish my farm, I went to the town council. But the chairman just threw away my papers. He told me to go away. There were four or five men sitting around and they saw me crying. I thought, I'm a woman and a mother, and he's mistreated me and disrespected me. I have to prove that I can achieve success. But how? She was 44 years old with no idea what to do or where to turn. The solution she soon discovered was just down the road. Adelaide attended a training session by a local legal aid center on land rights and the step-by-step -step process of how to create your own farm. It's part of a land reform project here by USAID, the U.S. Agency for International Development. Food security is one of the key issues affecting stability here on Afghanistan's northern border. We are promoting legal assistance centers and, and land reform so that women can have control of, of, of their land, farm what they want, and make the choices they need to improve their families. The project provided Adelaide with legal help at every turn. A lawyer guided her through the layers of bureaucracy. And when local officials tried again to block her from getting land on the grounds that she's a woman and not capable, the project lawyer was by her side, arguing that under Tajik law, they had no basis to oppose her. It helps not only that one specific farmer, but it sends a message loud and clear that USAID will support farmers and do whatever it takes to defend their rights. Finally, Adelat got her farm, a cooperative that includes 16 women. Here, they can grow whatever they want, melons and corn and eggplant. But the battle was not over. Adelat's former boss suddenly cut off her irrigation water. Yet again, the project lawyer was there to support her, warning him to stop interfering or he'd be taken to court. USAID helped me a lot, and I will never forget their help. I want to thank the American people for their support and for teaching women in these villages about their rights. Today, Adelat's farm is flourishing. She now has the money to send her son to university and she's the first woman in the area to buy a car. Adelat's name in Tajik means justice, and that, she says, is what she wanted for herself and the others who now share in her victory. I am very happy when I see these women have a better life and a better future. I consider myself a very lucky person. Bozan, hoy ozodastin.